Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can use Firebase to add it to your own app to give you some cool additional features that maybe you don't wanna build on your own. So if you're wondering what is Firebase, it's essentially a collection of services provided by Google that really enhance your apps. So for example, they have an authentication service, they have a database storage service, they have like a large file storage service. So you can connect to this through uh, using CocoaPods or using the package manager, and it really gives you a lot of options with cool things you can do with your app. So what you can do, you can go to this website, I'll have it in the description, and you'll see an overview of what Firebase is. You can look at some use cases, their documents for how to set it up, and you can see that it's really a lot of just different services that you can use to add stuff to your apps. So I'm gonna show you how you can add this to your own apps. So the first thing you'll do once you log into Firebase, you'll have to set up your account, but once you've done that, you'll have an option for this go to console. When you hit that, you'll be taken here. This will show you all of your recent projects and all of your projects in total. You'll notice I have quite a few and you're gonna hit this add project button and when you do that, it's going to bring you to this setup screen. So notice I've already done this for Firebase example, but when I click on it, this is where we're going to go through the registration process for your app. So let's go ahead and go over to Xcode so we can start getting some of this information. So if we go to Xcode, notice I'm on the beta, so things might be a little buggy here and there, please just bear with me, but notice I've just created a blank app, so there's really nothing here. Uh, if I resume the preview, you can see once this runs, it's just gonna be a simple text saying, hello world, nothing too fancy. So to get that bundle ID and add it to Firebase, simply come to your project settings and copy over this bundle identifier. So for me, it's com.johnchorus.firebase example. So I'll copy that, go back to Safari, paste that in, and hit register app. Now it'll do that. It'll present to me this config file. And if you've ever worked with plist files, this is really the exact same thing. It's just a whole bunch of different settings that you're gonna put into your app so that it knows to communicate with Firebase. So if we go back to Xcode, you can see I have my plist downloaded and I'll just drag this into the project, copy items if needed, create groups, and adding it to the Firebase example target. I'll hit finish. And now you see we have this new file added. So ID, uh, keys, all that kind of stuff. And now if we go back, once that's done, hit next. Now we're gonna add the Firebase SDK. So you can see they have it here recommended to use CocoaPods. You can also do this through the package manager. I've tried doing that, it seems to be a little buggy with the beta, so we will follow the CocoaPods installation example. So let's go ahead, and if we go back to Xcode, actually, let's open up Terminal, and what you wanna do is navigate to the root of your project, and you'll do that because you're going to add a pod file. So here, you can see, I've already navigated to Firebase example, and the command you're gonna use is just pod init. So pod init, when you do that, you'll notice you now get this pod file that shows up. So you can open this with pretty much anything you want. I'll just open it with text edit. And you can see, if I make this a little bigger, this is a standard pod file. So you can see target, you can specify the platform if you uncomment, and right under here, pods for Firebase example, this is where you're gonna enter the pods that you want. So if we go back, you can see, open your pod file and add, add the Firebase pod for Google Analytics. So that one's specifying an exact one that you wanna use, but you can also add pods for any other desired Firebase products. So if we go here, highlight, I'll copy this and add it to a new browser. You can see here are all the available pods that we can use. So. Really, I don't wanna use anything too specific since this is just kind of an example of how we do this. So I'll just add in uh, just a basic uh, Firebase. So we'll do pod Firebase. Now as a matter of fact, let's do auth. 
So I'll add that in here. And I will save it, close this file out. And then if we come back to our instructions, you see you save the file and then you'll run this pod install. So if we go back to terminal, pod install, and now, so if you run into this error, like I did, the problem, if we open this again with text edit, I used a capital P for pod, that's wrong. Make sure it's lowercase when you're adding pods. So close that file out, and let's try this again. Pod install, so now it's gonna analyze the dependencies, and it's gonna install all the different things that you need. And at this point, if we still have Xcode running, go ahead and quit Xcode. That won't mess with your download, so don't worry. And then once this finishes, I'll show you that you will be opening up something called an XC workspace instead of this normal Xcode project. Okay, so that took a little while, but once it finishes downloading, you'll see back in your finder, you now have this kind of white Firebase XC workspace. Go ahead and open up this one from now on, because this is the project that will actually have your uh, pods that you've just added. So I'll open this up. We'll open this up with the beta, so I'll close here. Now you can see, opening it up, I'll go to the mini, and now you have this entire pod section. So when you're on pods, you'll see pod file, and now it's the exact file that we created before. So we see Firebase auth. So now that we've done this, let's go back to Safari and continue the steps. So now this is the initialization code. So this is telling you that it should be added to the app delegate class. Well, if you're working on a pure SwiftUI project, the app delegate class is not going to be there. So what do we do instead? Well, we're still going to need this command, Firebase app.configure. So we'll copy that. But instead of doing it in an app delegate, we are going to do it in this Firebase example app file. So of type app. And we'll just add a custom initializer. So we'll do init. And before we do that, let's be sure to add the import statement. So import. Firebase, you can see, autocompletes working. And then we will do the Firebase app dot configure. And we'll save this and hit Command B to build it. Make sure that everything's working okay. Once that finishes building, we'll go ahead and run it. You'll see there might be some outdated settings. This is on the pods themselves. So unfortunately, there isn't really much that you can do about it kind of relying on Google to make those updates. But once this is finished building, you can see build succeeded. I'll hit Command R to run it. And now we should have our simulator showing up. I think I just clicked it away. But you're not, not going to see anything too fancy here. This is just going to be the black screen and hopefully the text that we had before. So see running. There's Hello World. And if we come back here, hit Next, you can see that we're all set. So if we continue to the console, here's kind of the overview of the Firebase example. So there's different things we can do for authentication, database storage, and we'll get into some of that stuff in videos that are coming up. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave it a like and consider subscribing so you don't miss out when I make those new videos. But thanks everybody for watching. Catch you in the next one.